Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys a few tricks that are gonna make you speed ramp like a pro. Now, if you don't know what speed ramping is, speed ramping is being able to make your videos faster or slower to the beat of your song. Now, this is very good for music videos. It helps you add more of a flow to your videos and cut to the beat way easier. Now, inside of Premiere Pro here, we have this little Got It music video that I just recently edited. Now, all these clips were shot in 60 FPS, which I highly recommend you guys do if you're looking to speed ramp your footage because that's how it works. You wanna export your video in either 24 or 30 FPS. And if you shoot your footage in 60 FPS, Yes, you can then bring it to about 50% speed and that's how you get that slow-mo. You can also shoot in 120 FPS if your camera does that. So you can get your slow-mo way slower, but I just shoot in 60. Now, super quick before we hop into speed ramping here, I'm just gonna color this footage super fast. I'm gonna bring in an adjustment layer. Then we're gonna go to Lumetri Color, Creative, go under None, hit Browse. We're gonna open up my Tiny Tapes Ultimate LUT Pack that has one through 282 different LUTs and then a couple film LUTs. I highly recommend this if you guys are looking to color your videos. I'm gonna throw a random one. Let's go with the 139. That looks pretty crisp there. It just needs a little bit of touch-ups. I'm gonna turn up the contrast, turn up the saturation just like that. Turn down the shadows. We'll go to this clip here, see how this looks. I'm gonna add some orange to that, add some green. More contrast, shadows down. Super quick, before we hop into this video, I'm offering a buy one, get one free Christmas sale. So every single editing pack on our website is buy one, get one free. And you guys can do this up to an unlimited amount of time. So you add three editing packs to your cart and then add three more. Three of those are gonna be completely free. Alongside this offer, we also have an all-in-one bundle. So if you've been looking at grabbing all of our editing packs, you can get them all in one at a crazy discounted price. Some of our best editing packs are fast and with effects that allows you to add drag and drop hits, shakes, and transitions to your videos super easily. Our LUT pack that contains over 250 50 plus unique LUTs and so many more effects like drag and drop 3D, slow shutter effects, Polaroid transitions, and a ton more. If you guys want to check this out, it's all on my website, tinytapes.ca. It's linked below. But let's hop right back into this. All right, now it looks pretty crisp there. Let's get into the speed ramping part of things. So the way I like to speed ramp inside of Premiere Pro, I like to cut my clips by pressing C on my keyboard, clicking on it to cut, and then right clicking, going over to speed and duration and then changing the speed to 50% here. And if you want it to flow even better, I recommend going down and turning it on to optical flow. This is just gonna blend the frames better. So we're gonna hit okay. And as you guys can see here, we have it slowing down just like that. Now that's not usually the way I speed ramp, but listen to the song just to show you guys live right now. This is what I'll do. So right here, when he puts his wrist up, I'll go, I'll do that, hit 50, turn on optical flow. And then I'll cut right here, go over, bring that to 200. And then we'll bring this back down to 50 here. And then let's try 200 again. And then when he puts his other wrist up, let's bring it back down to 50. And then let's do 200 again. And then 50. And then we'll bring this other scene in here. We'll slow it down right there. And then boom, we can either do 200, 150, 300. It's totally up to you, play around with it. You wanna pay attention to the speed. So let's say, boom, he puts his arm up there. If that happens way too slow, you guys can see right here, we can go and change that to 300. And we'll see when he puts his arm up right here, which is way earlier. So we'll cut to that there and make that 50. And then we'll go back into this one. And then we'll cut this one to 50 here. And 
And you can also bring it back to 100 as well. So I recommend paying attention to the way that you're bringing it up to 200 and then 50. And if you bring it back to 100, most of the time you can get it synced back to the actual lyrics. Or if you're not, you'll, you'll learn this over time the more you do speed ramp. Or if you want as well, before you speed ramp, you could duplicate your video at the bottom and then you can just add like a shake transition going back into the actual video. So now that we have this here, what I'd like to do, which is the absolute sauce when it comes to this, we're going to drag and drop an adjustment layer over on top of all of our speed ramp clips. And then we're going to go into effects and I'm going to apply RSMB Pro. I highly recommend this. I'm not sponsored by RSMB. It's basically just motion blur for on top of your videos and it makes everything look super smooth, especially when you're speed ramping. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop that on. And RSMB uses a lot of your computer's hardware to run, so I highly recommend rendering it through at the very end. So if I go ahead and render this through for you guys, you guys are going to see it's going to take a long time to be able to show you guys how it looks. So I'll be back in a second. If I go ahead and play this through for you guys, you guys can see with the RSMB how it looks. On those scenes that have 200 speed, it just looks so clean. I go through and go frame by frame with the RSMB on and off. So fire. There's a couple other ways that you guys can speed ramp as well. This is my favorite way to do it. And those are a few tricks right there that are going to make you speed ramp like a pro. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I also recommend checking out this video right here. See you guys in the next video. Peace.